Hi. I found an opinion piece in this newspaper that I thought was so good that I thought I would read it. It came out September 29th. And I thought I'd read it since Trump won the election. I'm reading it to scare my liberal friends. This is called The Next President Will Be Unbound. Written by Victor Davis Hansen. Okay, here it goes. Donald Trump's supporters see a potential Hillary Clinton victory in November as the end of any conservative chance to restore small government, constitutional protections, fiscal sanity, and personal liberty. Clinton's progressives swear a Trump victory would spell the implosion of America as they know it, alleging Trump parallels with every dictator from Joseph Stalin to Adolf Hitler. Part of the frenzy over 2016 as a make-or-break election is because a closely divided Senate's future might hinge on the coattails of the presidential winner. An aging Supreme Court might also translate into perhaps three to four court picks for the next president. Yet such considerations only partly explain the current um, the current the election oh current election frenzy. All right. I think it's been folded in such a way it's hard to read here. Uh, the model of the uh, impartial old blamer. Yes, me. You see me. Oh, that that word is all ruined now. The model of the imperial, impl imperial, not impartial. The model of the imperial. Oh, I like to call him a blamer. Uh, the Imperial Blamer pre uh, presidency is the greater fear. Over the last eight years, a Blamer has transformed the powers of, pre of, pre of, of, of presidency in a way not seen in decades. Congress talks of grandly, uh, Congress talks grandly of quote, comprehens comprehensive immigration reform. But a Blamer, as he promised, bypassed the House and Senate to virtually open the border with Mexico. He largely ceased uh, deportations of undocumented immigrants. He issued executive order amnesties, and he allowed entire cities to be exempt from federal immigration law. That's why Muslims are coming to a town near you. The press said nothing about this extraordinary overreach of presidential power, mainly because these largely illegal means were used to achieve the progressive ends favored by many journalists. The Senate used to ratify treaties. In the past, the president could not unilaterally approve the Treaty of Versailles, enroll the United States in the League of Nations, fight in Vietnam or Iraq without congressional author authorization, uh, change existing laws by non-environment or rewrite bankruptcy laws. Not now. Not now. Oblamer set a precedent that he did not need Senate uh, a ratification to make the landmark treaty Landmark Treaty. Dang, it's hard to do this one with one hand, and plus it's screwing up here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not now. Oblamer said a president that he did not need Senate ratification to make a landmark treaty with Iran on nuclear enrichment. He picked and chose which elements of the Affordable Care Act would be enforced predicated on his 2012 re-election efforts. Rebuffed by Congress, Oblamer is now slowly shutting down the Guantanamo Bay Detention Center by having inmates sent to other countries. He even got two out 
Team Terrace out for uh, Bergdahl, who was a dissenter. I mean, who, 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 uh, <laughs> oh well. Respective opponents of both Trump and Clinton should be worried. Either winner could follow the precedent uh, of allowing any sanctuary, any sanctuary city or a state in the United States to be immune from federal law found displeasing from the Liberal Endangered Species Act and uh, federal gun registration uh, laws to conservative abortion restrictions. Could anyone, could anyone Dang it. Could anyone complain if Trump's Secretary of State were investigated by Trump's Attorney General for lying about uh, private emails, uh, private uh, a private email server in the matter Clinton of Clinton uh, being investigated by Loretta Lynch? Would anyone? Object should. Uh, would anyone object should President uh, Trump agree to a treaty with Russian Vladimir Putin, President Putin, in the same way a blamer set up the Iran deal? If a President Clinton decides to strike North Korea, would she really need congressional authoriza authorization considering a blamer's unauthorized Libyan bombing mission that overthrew Gaddafi? What would, and then installed Al-Qaeda, what would Americans say if President Trump's IRS, mere imaging Lois Lerner, hounded the progressive nonprofit organizations of George Soros? Partisans are shocked that the press does not go after Trump's various inconsistencies, inconsistencies and fibs about the supposed initial... Uh, Uh, opposition of the uh, of, of the Iraq war uh, not to press him on the details of Trump University. Conservatives counter that Clinton has never had to come clean about the likely illegal pay-for-play influence peddled uh, peddling of the Clinton Foundation or her lies about her email servers uh, her evil email server. But why if elected should either worry, yeah, but why, if elected, should either worry much about media scrutiny? One reason Americans are scared about the next president is that they should be. Thanks to the president of a blamer's overreach, abetted by a lapdog press that forgot the ends, never justify the means. I thought I'd let you know that. Bye.